This is the fourth episode of Teeny Talks with your girl Rochelle and Lorna. This is the Valentine's Day edition, but we're not, not edition, yeah. but edition. Yeah. The month of love. And these are our teenies for today. <laughs> It's really this good. Is good. Did you want to start or did you want me to start? Go ahead, knock yourself out. Okay, I met my man while with my friends. So we all became friends. Later I found out that my friend and my man were talking late night. My man told the truth, but my friend lied about it. Is it nothing? Oh, that's the question. Is it nothing? Right. So I'm gonna just tell the truth. This was me in an old past relationship for me. I put, I threw my own in there. I need, I need the advice. Was it nothing? Definitely something. <laughs> it was like five girls and five guys. Mm -hmm. And then we all became friends. And then out of that, me and him, we became boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay. And it was multiple of them that would call him. It was just this one particular friend of mine at the time, she called him late night. Now I had already sat down, I am that crazy girlfriend who's like, no, you can't talk to my man. The relationship status has changed. Y'all are friends during the daylight hours. So she was always already aware. Yeah, we had already sat down. I mean, if she already knew beforehand, then she is stepping out of line. But so is he so, because he. I mean, he did entertain it. It could have been an emergency, and I mean, they're still, emergency. they're still friends at the end of the day. So it's just like, oh, well, let me see what's wrong with my friend. Yeah, I can be friends, but y'all ain't best friends. Was there the multiple occasions, or this was that one time he told you right after the first time? He was like, oh yeah, she called me, but it was like, it wasn't nothing. Like, he was like downplaying it. So when I called her and was like, did y'all talk real late at night? She was like, no. The only thing, clearly she lied. This is what I would say. The yeah. fact that he brought it up to you. He didn't bring it up. So how did it come up? I think I went through his phone. Well, first of all, you shouldn't be going through his phone. I was okay. young. Everyone goes through their person's phone when y'all first start talking. You never went through nobody's phone? I have home? never went through anybody's phone. Well, Either. you don't know what you you're missing. Never remember, you know how I am. So it's just like, mm, it's a no-no for me. If he go through my phone, I wouldn't have a problem. Because you ain't got nothing to have, right? Period, that's my point. I mean, I get what you're saying, but yeah, I so wouldn't be going through nobody's phone it's not like, like what was your reason he gave you a reason like his phone just buzzed or it's doing weird stuff or he been on it weird like he's doing stuff that he don't typically do and then when you see bloop 10 p.m bloop 11 p.m bloop 12 a.m oh it's suspicious what do you do when things are suspicious you investigate case closed the id channel told me that Okay, so what? Am I crazy? She should have got cut off just for lying. Or like, the relationship shouldn't have been the same. I mean, he probably downplayed because to him, like how with me, like a lot of stuff is just not that serious. He might have been that person, like, it's not that serious. Or she was like, dang, we probably did have this conversation and I probably look a little sketchy. She was like, I don't want to cause no tension. But hey. That relationship is dead. It's dead, it's over, no more of my questions are in here. Okay, so, I was dating the guy, but when Valentine's Day came around, they pretty much just said that they had to work and we wouldn't be able to spend time together. I did receive my gifts the next day. Would it be wrong if I break up with him? I got a lot of questions though. I might have an answer. <laughs> What time did you get your gifts? Because if he got it in the afternoon or evening, then he went and bought us stuff that day and he would side chick break up with him. If he, if the very next morning he had like a spa treatment, everything set up, and maybe he was waiting for some packages from Amazon, then don't break up with him. If he bought your stuff the day after your side chick. So what does it mean if he gave you your stuff the day before? 
You're a side chick. So you're a side chick if you don't get it on the, the date. Day. It don't even have to be side chick. He's just not into you like that. He could not be in a relationship. You just ain't the one. But I feel like if y'all in the same city now, the same city, it shouldn't be no reason that you can't get it sometime that day. You don't work 24 hours. You can always get it delivered. Now, if it's but delivery and it comes early, that makes sense because you, yeah. you know, you can't handle when it comes. It only better be a shipping delay, not you were delayed. Show me the receipts. I need the receipts, sir. Give me the tracking number yeah. so I can figure out when it was delayed and where. I'm gonna call the people for you, babe. Where's their number? Let me find out. Make sure I don't hook up, nobody. Yeah, because they're not gonna like you. After they get with me, they're gonna be like, who you with? No, I'll with? be up front. She crazy, so if you wanna deal with it. But I'm not you. crazy. I feel like I'm normal and everybody else is just abnormal not abnormal everyone else is just super passive like it's passive for you not to look through people's phones that's very passive of you <laughs> trust issues over here that's what they mean trust issues you just i don't trust these hoes <laughs> no trust issues i got trust issues but i don't know who i had trust in that made me lose it so you were just going through phones just for fun yeah, this was doggone again. Mm. Oh, he going in the shower? Or I'm real. You was waiting for him? Girl, if he if he got up and took his phone in the shower while while I'm in the room, I used to watch that. Why is you going in the phone? You going in the shower anyways? What you doing with your phone? They didn't play music. No. Exactly. Suspicious. I mean, I take my phone in there to listen to music. No, not always. It's just be in there. That's strange to me. If I'm with somebody who doesn't, like if that's not something you've always done, and then we're, we end up in a relationship and then all of a sudden, every time I'm alone with you and you have your phone out here, you pick your phone up and take it with you every time. Hell no. If it's face down every time, you trying to, you trying to, you trying That's to not what that means. That is not what that means. Please somebody write in the comments. <laughs> Does that mean that? That means that. Sometimes that can just mean, you know what? I'm done looking at my sometimes. phone. Let me pay attention to you. Sometimes. But sometimes, sometimes people flip their phone over too. I've been around you and you've done both. Yeah. I'm, I'm just. Why my man can't do both? I need somebody who can do both. That's not off. You shouldn't be putting your phone down. You go out and you being extra friendly to the McDonald's worker. Have a whole conversation, sir. <laughs> Just grab my fries. I'm trying to understand what makes something right and wrong if it's not actually doing anything to jeopardize your relationship. They could not be doing anything, but they just keep putting their phone down. That's a problem. No, it's a buildup of everything. That's not what you're under. That, that's what you're not understanding. It's a buildup of everything. But what if you met them and they always had their phone down? Is that gonna be an issue or is it when they have no. it and then they start doing it? Yes. Okay, when if they start I'm around changing. you and we're hanging out, because a lot of people that I start talking to, I like boyfriend, girlfriend, I'm around them for like months before we say, hey, let's be boyfriend, girlfriend. So if we're friends and we kicking it, everything cool, I'm noticing you just la 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 with okay. your phone. And then when we get together, you like la 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 <laughs> like that. <laughs> Oh no, baby! I got you now. I got you. Okay. You can tell that stuff when you with somebody. You, you realize, up. yeah, you just switched up on me for what? You thought I ain't noticed? Okay, so we finished our drinks. That was a good Boom. little combo. It was Basically, so wrap it up. I forgot what I talked about. Me too. Damn. Oh. Oh, basically, yes, my that is very suspicious for me that my boyfriend and my friend were talking and then he told the truth about it after he got caught with it and she told the lie <laughs> and also if you don't get your gift by valentine's day unless it was a shipping delay and you can verify that it better come before or the day of let that man go he's not for you baby period period poo and that is the end of episode four. four. Next time, you better pull that shot high. 
You ready? Mm. <sighs> My mouth was a little extra juicy. <laughs> Yeah. No. Toodles. Leave your comments and let us know. And subscribe. And subscribe, please. We try not to be in the hood no more. Be sure.